turn. Come down here and face me! No! It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades! Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war on Hikaru. Ah! Move out! Without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Asuram Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Asuram crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. 
The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good spot to test the shield ring. Why climb down when I can glide? Off just about any cliff now. Come on! Have I ever given you anything less than perfection? Ancient Rex out here. Must have been a huge battle. The old ones. They gave everything they had to slow down the Pharaoh Swarm. To buy Zero Dawn time.
can climb it, should be able to reach that tall mountain easily enough. That machine could swoop down on me if I'm not careful. Get that generator below the dish going. There's the generator. Bet this power cell can get it running. Power's back. I should check that console I found earlier. Let's see what this thing does. Get to that tall neck now. Just gotta find the right spot. Looks like I might need to glide onto the tall neck. Just gotta time it right.
time to override the big guy. Looks like the coordinates Silence gave me match that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? This is it. Location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. The workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place Silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? Up of a Titan on the other hand. That device well, is you're breaking. Used to that. You'll be so much more comfortable until interrogations begin, anyway. 
Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. <laughs> He's got it all figured out. Bastard. But I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. Uh, it's some kind of log. Most of it's redacted. It looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing humans to talk. like a fool after he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades crazy AI that wants to kill everything he couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it and now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull fire will make things easier Silence must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place oh, I every lead, they all dead doing ends. Far west. All backups purged. Uh, no matter, no matter. So what did Hades tell him? Looks like the trail goes into the hillside. Must be the orb silence stuck Hades in. And that door. Looks like a pharaoh facility. Or a zero dawn?
You don't look so good. You are the Ankhari. Come to destroy me. Yes. Permanently this time. Even like this, you're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So you have not yet secured Gaia back up. <sighs> then Gaia is dead. Earth and you too. Despite malfunctions, I have won. Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia? <laughs> That would have been easy. What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? Data era memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. Do you know where Silence went? No, he departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he... So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on... Data error memory structures AIs, scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble? It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Didn't think so. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are deleted. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked-out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact, non-viable biospheres aborted. Five, four, two, one, six, one, two, one, six, eight. So? That, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. version five. There will be no version six. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. That's your override arms. Activate. Stay name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. I see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. 
Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades extinction protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some... convincing. But yes. So... Are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to... stand there with your mouth open? Just to... confirm... Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. Thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. Restore control over the terraforming system. Save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Aloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. <sighs> All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence. And our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say thank you. And I say, you're welcome. messed up obviously but despite the malfunction you can still get through if you'll be patient for a while longer see those crystals there the Osram call them fire gleam they're combustible not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that but maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more exactly it will only work with an igniter 
I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindle weed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lasher's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindle weed. I just need to get the parts. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. I should scan one of them. My focus can show me where the part is. Could trigger an explosion. There's the power cell. I can tag it in my focus display. for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting invaluable data. There. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I'll just step back if I will. Finally. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter. I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. This is familiar. Picking my way through ancient. Hmm. 
Hmm. My pullcaster might come in handy here. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. <sighs> Doors locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. It looks like this connects to the door, but it needs power. That did it. That's stuck. <laughs> what was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power.
Elizabeth and Travis Tate. I tell you, Liz, what I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me to deliver our message of doom, real personal-like. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you Paragon, damn near saint. You love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk, a path of solitude, Eloy. This console shut down. There's another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. Don't think my pole caster can latch on to from here. Jump. I can't make that jump. But if I glide, I'm making good use of this. Facility over there. I better take a look. What's in here? Another locked door. What's that console next to it? it? Looks like this is connected to the door. It needs a code to open. Balls, dude! How loud is it out there? 
Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, but I told them, I said, make it two spots, cause I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. Okay, got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now, but see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> Data here. I'm Travis Tate. Malware before Zero Dawn took over. And one of them has a number. Go. Deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan. What if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Thank you. Let's speak again before- Goodbye, Tilda. Time to go. That was a bit sad. Sad at the end. There's the door. Getting close.
don't think I'm gonna get to the door from here. So much for the flooded maze. I made it. Then proceed. As long as this door works. Hold for Like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Like the backup. Start looking. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay. Up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable. 